Okay, we introduce you to our athlete of the week, Columbia's TJ Jones. His head coach Brian Allen ranks him right up there with Columbia alum Laramie Tunsil, who now plays for the Miami Dolphins as one of the school's best ever. Tonight, Mio O'Brien is taking you to the heart of the game with TJ's story of perseverance. And we're not just talking about how TJ is the genius behind the zoo life cultural phenomenon that's going on in Lake City. And that's almost as cool as those 37 offers. But what's cooler than all of that? TJ's journey to startup. It means a lot, you know, because I'm not a guy that's from out of town coming to come wear the purple and gold. I'm from Lake City. I grew up around Columbia High School football. 32. Brian Allen, Laramie Tunsil, and now TJ Jones, the next Columbia High great. Probably the, the, the second largest recruiter uh, that, that we've had here. By now, you know the numbers. It's like 40, I think. Um, I have 37. 37 offers. 37, yes, man, 37. Yeah. Two, two, he got a lot, a lot. But I feel like he deserved every last one, every last offer he got, because he's been through a lot in his life. We're 37, 11. I know that many people don't know he lost his mother probably at about the age of six. He's playing for someone every Friday night. He went through a lot, a lot of injuries in middle school. He broke his knee, got up here, broke his ankle his freshman year. Sophomore year, he broke his hand. Junior year, I think he bought it with something else. It might have been his wrist, but every year he's went through injuries. That's why now to see where he's coming from, it's a blessing just to see everything he did. And what he's still yet to accomplish. You know, I used to always mess with them guys like, damn, boy, I can't wait to be next, you know? And I wanted more from them. Like, I wanted more than what they had. DJ and the Fighting Tigers moved to 5-0 with a 48-24 thumping of Madison County Friday night as they continue their quest for the school's first state title since 1967. Mia O'Brien, First Coast Sports.